Hi everyone, it's Nancy. I wanted to do a video today of something really nice that I saw um, Sandy from Septaria 18 do a video on the other day. And I thought, I, I had um, Tracy Fox's Dark Compendium kit in front of me and another digital that I printed. And I thought, oh, that would be really kind of nice to put in a journal or to give as some happy mail. So I will definitely link below the video Sandy from Septary 18 because this is her idea. This is not my idea, but I'm just going to use her idea and use um, a digital kit. And then um, some of the other ephemera I'm going to put in here is um, from a Etsy uh, shop called Calico Collage Norella. And um, it's witchy pictures. And I thought that would make great um, things to put inside. So um, let me, it's really easy. Let me just get started and tell you what I have here. Um, I have some Tracy labels here. I have just bits and pieces in my little bucket here, my friendly spider. And then I have um, part of Tracy's Dark Compendium kit, uh, number four. And these are the witchy Polaroid pictures that I picked up from um, Calico Collage. And they're very, very neat. Neat. Oh, look at that one. They're very nice. Nice colors, neutral colors, but and they're very cool looking. And then they come smaller like this. So what I did was I cut them out and I just inked them with some black soot ink. And I have my Tracy labels. I don't know, I have some orange twine that I have. And then I pulled out some old stickers that I thought would go with the Dark Compendium kit. So just, you know, find find anything you have in your stash. And then I just have some enamel dots from Stampin' Up! that I have. Um, so she made two, and these I just made with the paper, and I didn't uh, embellish them yet. But they're super fun, super easy. This one has a tuck in front and then a large tuck in the back and then this one's a side pocket where there's a a tuck here and then also the whole front's a tuck and I thought oh it'd be so cute made out of this paper now I would think you could make it out of any size paper um, the paper that Sandy had was four by six and this is part of uh, Tracy's kit and some of the pages these are um, there's full size pages in Tracy's Dark Compendium kit and then another printout is the pages um, smaller like I think these are oh, let's see got my ruler here these are the 5 by 7 printouts almost 7 yeah so you you get um, some of these in this size too. I didn't reduce them. They were already reduced. See? So I thought, oh, I wonder if I could use these. So I that's what I did to make these. So I thought I'm going to show you and maybe we could just play around and, and decorate them. Also in her kit, she has um, circles, which I cut out. And I happened to find in my die stash, um, this is a three inch doily um, die that I had. I've had it so long, I don't even know where it came from. I would tell you if I did, but, you know, maybe you have a doily uh, die in your collection, or maybe you have some three-inch doilies or anything like that. You could just cut a three-inch circle. So I thought, and I just realized that these fit really nice on the front. So I thought we could decorate some of these, too, with these. All right, so let me, I did pre-cut out. A couple of these pages and I want to show you um, how to do this now you don't even have to measure which is kind of nice so let's see here um, first thing you want to do is uh, turn it over and fold up about three quarters now if you want to measure you can but I'm just eyeballing it 
So fold up like about three quarters and then come down and then fold it where it goes about halfway over what you just folded up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just about halfway. And then crease it there. And then open it back up and then turn it. So we did this, this way, three quarters inch, came down, folded this halfway here. Now open it up and turn it and fold this about three quarters of an inch on this side too. Okay. All right, so we have, this is what we did. We took three quarters of an inch up, fold this down halfway between that three quarter that we just folded there, see? Open it up and fold this side up a three quarter inch, okay? Now you're just gonna do a little cutting. There's a square right here. We're gonna cut that off. Okay, and then there's a section here and a section here. We're going to do this section right here. Cut this section off. Hope everyone's having a good day. I'm in Illinois, so we have a beautiful fall day. Nice fall weather here. I'm enjoying it. Okay, um... So we're going to make, we're making this one first here. Stay right there. This one right here. So um, we're going to turn it this way. This section right here, you want to put some glue on. Um, you can use glue stick too. And then we're going to fold that over and just glue it down. And what's nice about using um, Tracy's uh, papers is because the designs, it's a nice collage and the designs go all different ways. So it, it doesn't matter which way it goes. It all looks good. Okay, so we glued that down. Now you're going to fold this over. Oh, I probably should say we should ink the edges, right? If you're an inker, I'm an inker. So let me start inking some edges here that we're going to see. So you might want to do that first. I like inking the edges. Okay, and then we'll see this side. And then I'm going to do this side here. Okay. All right, so back to this. We glued this down. Fold this side over like that. And if, it, if, if I didn't cut it very evenly, which I can see I didn't, I'm just going to trim this a little bit here. You're not going to see it. There we go. Okay, and then this just folds up. And all you're going to do is put a little glue here and a little glue here. And that will just close up your pocket. So let's do that. Fold that up, and that's it. That's that's it right there. And like I said, this paper measured like five and um, uh, five by almost seven. Okay. Now, if you if you had a bigger piece of paper, I think you just need a rectangle, not a square. So just any rectangle size paper, it's still gonna work. So um, I think these are so cute. So. Before we embellish them, let me show you how to make this version with the tuck here, okay? So we'll just put these to side. We're going to do the same folds. The same folds apply. Okay, so we're going to do uh, about three quarters of an inch up again. And you could mass make these. This would be so fun to mass make. Okay. Uh, okay, and then we're going to fold this down halfway past what we just folded, like that, okay, open it up, turn it, and we're going to do another three, about a three-quarter inch fold here, 
Okay. And we're going to open back up. Once again, we're going to cut that little square out right here on the bottom. Okay. And also, once again, we're going to cut this section right here. I love that you don't really have to measure, that you can just do the fold, eyeball it, and it turns out it's so pretty. And I, I can imagine it made with other, um, you know, papers and things. Okay, so we're going to turn it this way. So this would be the flap that's down right here. So we want to notch it out here. So I have like a one inch punch here. I'm just going to eyeball this halfway here. Punch that out. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to ink my edges again. And because this is white, I'm probably going to give this a little ink over here too. Just so, see, so then you don't see it. It doesn't, it's not like a stark white. Okay, and then I'm just going to ink around. I just love doing Halloween. If you know me, you know I do. I can't stop doing Halloween. I want to do Christmas, but I'm not there yet. But I'm thinking about it, and I'm looking and seeing what I have. But, um, yeah, I'm still doing Halloween. And don't forget, um, starting October 1st, I'm doing an October Daily Vintage Style Series. So every day there'll be a prompt with a short video. I will be working on tags. Uh, you can do it as elaborate as you want if you have the time. If you want to do a journal page, um, if you want to do a guest check, you want to do an index card, um, gosh, anything, a tag. I just cut tags out of manila folders that I bought at the Dollar Tree. They're going to be like three by six and a quarter. And I thought maybe I'll just make them all and keep them as ephemera. Um, I'll probably put them on a ring just to hold them and then we'll do a flip through. But every day I'll give you a prompt. I'll do a short video on what I do on my tag and you go with it how you want to. Um, and then I also have a hashtag that if you could share uh, your creations in on Instagram, it's going to be uh, hashtag October Daily Vintage Style 22. So that'd be great if we could post our, our creations on there and let everybody see it. And I'm really excited about doing this because I love doing October Daily anyway. I've been doing it for quite a few years now. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do something for us journal makers um, kind of like a vintage style Halloween, uh, but you could do it any way you want. I'm just trying to gear it towards that just to try because I haven't seen too much of that out there and I don't see a lot of journal makers uh, doing Halloween, although I do and I love it, but I, I, we need to get more of us out there making some more Halloween journaling things. So, um, yeah, so don't forget October 1st is going to start, okay? All right, so I inked everything up. So now what we're going to do, okay, fold that down like that. We're going to fold this over, and I can see I didn't cut this very good. So let me just trim this over a little bit more just so it folds nice. Okay, let's see how that works. Okay, fold that over there. Don't glue it, just fold it over. And then this will fold up, okay? So the only place you're going to put glue, and don't put glue all the way here because, see, you still have this area here and you don't want to glue that because it'll uh, stop your tag from going in there. So just put a little bit of glue up here and glue, and you can glue over here. Whoops, my glue's oozing out here. So just a little bit on this top part here and then here. Okay, so you folded this over. Fold this up, and then you have that. Isn't this the cutest thing? You have to check out Sandy's video. It's so cute and so much fun. But I thought, how nice are these going to look in a journal? Whether you make the sideways one or these here. And then also, in um, Tracy's kit, she has tags. Comes with tags, three different size tags, okay? 
and they're all really really pretty just like the background pictures so I realized that this size the middle size tag fits perfectly in this pocket the only thing we'd have to do see it fits perfectly in there now if you if you don't mind it sticking out depending on your page let's see the pages are, are usually our pages are okay that would be that would make it on a page you might want to make it the tag a little shorter just a smidge shorter so what we could do is just um, cut off a little bit on the bottom here you don't even have to cut much off Let's do that and see how that I cut about um, a, a generous quarter inch off. See that fits really nice too. It depends on your page. See, so that measures um, five and a quarter. So that would actually go sideways real cute on a page, right? Um, let me show you if I have a piece here, kind of plain from her kit. So if you were to take a, a journal page like that, and then you could put it on a page like that. You could even make the tag a little smaller, but you know, once you uh, clip it here or put a ribbon or a dangle, that would be super cute, wouldn't it? And then the other one could go on a page like that, and you could just glue it on two sides, make the back a tuck, um, you know, the back... You'd have a tuck here, a big tuck here, and a tuck here. So I am in love with making these. I'm, and I think they look so nice out of Tracy's papers here. So let me see. Let me find another tag. Like I said, these are the medium sized tags. That one, I mean, they're all cute. It doesn't really matter. And you could put probably two tags in here. Let me just cut this down about a quarter inch. Yeah, see that that I wonder how two would be. Let's see if I stick two tags in there. Oh yeah, you've got so much room. Look at that. That is so neat. So let's see. I'll just leave that there for now. Put this one in here. And then um and then her small tags would be cute for the Front even so we'll work on those so um let's see what we can do here let's just decorate a few now I did grab out some of these labels from Tracy's kit oh I forgot the name of this kit it's um it's got all like spooky male kind of uh, sentiments on it I'll I'll find out and I'll link everything below but I thought wouldn't it be fun to put some of these on here Let's, I'll just play around here. Let's see. We've got these to put on. And then I've got my stickers. I think these were from um, Michael's quite a while ago. But these colors seem to go well, I thought. So maybe we could use some of those. And you could even use, you know, if you have any ribbon or twine, maybe we can incorporate some of that. Let's... Let me just see what we can do here. So if you're Halloween crafting, let me know what you're making. I'd love to know. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I think, I think any of these but these are kind of puffed up here so these would be kind of fun wouldn't it maybe if i put one on the corner here like that that would be fun maybe put that down there i mean it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to think that much about it the way tracy makes her labels and her digitals they're just so beautiful just the way they are there's not much more you have to do to enhance them you know just put that there. Okay. Um, 
Oh, you know what would be cute? I know. Let me see if I can get this back up here. Ah, pull it back up. I just thought of it now. Okay. Well, you know what? I took some of the paper off with it, but I'm going to glue it back down. Because you know what I thought of? Putting some of this twine in there. So let me, let me try to get some of that. Maybe three fingers, two fingers. Let's see. You just wrap a few strands of it. Okay, like that. Cross it over. Like that. That might be cute. Now I have to glue that down again. Let me try here. See if I can do this without letting go of my my strands. Just put some glue on there. See if I can. You know, I'm not even going to fool with that one. I'll take another one. Let's see here. Let me get another one here, and I'll use that one later. Okay. All right, just for some texture, maybe. Um, what else can we put on here? Okay, let me, let me leave this one for now. Let's leave that one. Let's work on some other ones here. And then we'll go back if we need to decorate more. They have like, uh, she has like, uh, they come in different colors too, which is kind of nice. And they come in different, um, I think they come in a couple sizes, um, but you can always, you know, you can uh, size them if you have that option on your printer or your, wherever you print from. You can always size that. I'm trying to find some of the smaller ones here. Let's see what else we have here. Open if you dare. Hmm. Okay. What else? What's that? Oh, okay. Maybe I'll use this one. It's cute. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing my October daily vintage style for everyone. Um, and depending how well it goes, I probably will do a Christmas December daily vintage style. Um, Maybe not with tags, maybe with a different substrate, but I will probably do a December one as well. As long as everybody's enjoying it and they like it. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? If I do like a circle, let's see. Or maybe a bow, double bow. Let me, let's just cut some of this off and play with it. Just it kind of brings out the colors. Right. Oh, right. Tie a bow on camera, right? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So I'm also getting ready. My house has been decorated for Halloween since September 1st because I love it so much. Um, I have a small house, so it's not, you know, crazy elaborate, but it makes me happy. And my friends and family enjoy it as much as I do, I think. I have a witch's brew party every year uh, with a different theme. And I have about, oh, with family and some friends, we have about mm, maybe 20-ish people come. And 
we have food and cocktails and we play bingo for prizes, the ladies, and the guys kind of do their own thing. And the kids, we have some of my, I have four grandkids and then, you know, sometimes one of my friends will bring um, one of their grandkids and they play and they're dressed up and they get a kick out of it. And Oh gosh, I'm having a heck of a time here. I know what I wanted to do, but it's not turning out. Let's try this again. Um, so this year's theme is Haunted Mansion, but not Disney style. Not Disney Haunted Mansion, just Haunted Mansion. And I asked, I sent out an invitation. I asked everyone to um, dress up as a ghost from the past, Any, any, anybody that they want. Oh, gosh, you know, having a hard time here. Let's try this again. <laughs> Um, so it'll be interesting to see. And my costume, since it is my home, I'm going to be the ghost mistress of the house. Whoever used to live here years ago. So <laughs> I'm kind of making my costume. I was going to buy one, but um, believe it or not, I went a little hunting at the Goodwill store and I found... A long black velvet dress um, and all I have to do is embellish it um, and I'm going to make that part of my costume I was so excited to find something that I could kind of make my own so anyway okay here <laughs> oh my gosh I am just having a hard time here with this bowl but okay let's just try it let's just see if it does anything I mean ah. Eh. I don't know. I don't like it. <laughs> we'll go back to the to this, I think. That's probably the easiest. I guess a bow is not. You can just make it like a circle-y type thing like this. Yeah. Something like that, maybe. We'll do that. Okay. Well, that's that might be good. Okay, so let me put some glue here. See if it'll stay for me a minute. Yeah, that's kind of nice, just that simple. Okay. And then, um, let's see, what do I have here? I don't know, maybe I'll use another one of these. Let's use, uh, oh, since this has got a rose on it, here's one with a rose. If I can get it off here. Paper. See, this one's got like a rose on it, so that might work. That's cool. Okay. I'm sure if I thought harder about it, we could um, dress it up a little more, but it would be something to play with. So those are those two there. Now let's decorate the longer, taller ones here, and then we can see what we're going to put on the inside. Okay, and then we can even put tags in here. And now let's see, I think the tags would be, see if, oh yeah, look at, they fit fine. Now you do see a smidge of it here, so we probably could just trim it down a little bit. If that bothers you, you can trim it. If it doesn't, leave it. Let's see if I just do a quick trim without getting my cutter out here. Maybe that'll work. Oh, we have to, yeah, see? That's so cute, isn't it? Let's see what other one I can use on the others. Let's try this one here. Try it before you cut it. Um, see, now that one doesn't really bother me for some reason, so I'll leave that there. And the tallness is fine, and we can ink them. So let's just decorate these here. And that's cute. Um, open if you dare. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, I like that one. Yeah, so um, my, my Witch's Brew Party, I really enjoy it. Last year's was Dia de las Muertes theme. That was so much fun. So much fun on that one. Um, Hocus Pocus we've had. Uh, what else? Oh my gosh, I have to think back now. Not sure what I had. Oh, I think I put some glue here that I didn't want to. Okay. Um... See. Yeah, if you're going to glue it, don't put glue over the whole thing. Just put the glue on the bottom for, you know, right over here. Okay. I'll put that one here. Okay, so what else do I want to do? I have some brads, black, black and gray brads here. And like these, these are from Stampin' Up. I don't, I don't have them anymore, but they always have. You can get brads, um, or even the bird. Hmm, maybe the bird would be cute. See how that looks there. We put there or I'll put him there. Maybe I'll put a skull crossbones right here. Okay, that's good. Move these out of the way. Okay. So we have, let me make sure you could see everything here. We have the two sideway ones with the tags, and then we have the two tall ones with tags in them. Right? Okay. So now, what I thought was um, these are the three inch doilies that I had that I had cut out of black cardstock. And I said, the circles that are in Tracy's kit, they fit perfectly inside the middle there. So let me make a few of these. And if you don't have a doily, you could just, you know, cut a bigger card, uh, 